Hello everybody and welcome to the very final and last episode of Let's Play The Sims 3 Pets Lepacy Challenge. So in the last episode, Mila aged up, Iris learned how to drive, and I just generally spent a lot of time with the family so uh, that I don't feel like I'm lacking, you know, when I f don't have my fix of this family anymore. So let's talk about some plans for the future, shall we? So I've uh, heard through the grapevine that Rags has intentions to open up his a restaurant of his own because currently he is culinary at level seven. And I've heard that Fiona um, might take in, oh, look at him, be marked, that's so cute, she's just rubbing on him, or he is rubbing on her, sorry, I just completely flipped around their pronouns, but, uh, yeah, I've heard, you know, through the grapevine that Rags is, is looking into starting his own business for the next generation, so, speaking of the next generation, we will be moving to Starlight Shores, because we will be playing showtime which i'm so excited to have now i am going to enable world adventures which is something i actually don't tend to do guys because i hate the tourists i hate that it like spawns unnecessary sims that really annoys me oh she's asking for a bedtime story so speaking of mila or well you know, talking about Mila, we need to kind of give her room a little renovation here. I know we're not going to be in this house for much longer, but we she needs somewhere to sleep, so <laughs> I need to kind of configure that right now. I'm going to sell all her kids' stuff. I'm going to leave the rug in there. Um, her favorite color was spice brown, but I did change it in the last episode because... Like, what eight-year-old likes spice brown? It just doesn't make- it doesn't make too much sense now, does it? I think I want to give her- I want to give her a really nice bed. I might give her this one from High End Loft stuff. It's really cute. Though I want to make sure it doesn't clip with the curtains, because I hate when that happens. It just, like, completely ruins my immersion. Um, this one looks really, like, futuristic and, like, high tech and advanced and stuff, but it's kind of cute. Ah, you know what? I hate the blue on it, actually. I'm a liar. I don't like that blue accent on the on the bottom of it. Let me see what else I can do. Maybe this one. This one's just really- like, I always use this one when I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, you see this bed a lot in Bridgeport. I don't know why that just cropped up in my mind, but just a random thought. Like, I always see this- this bed in, like, people in Bridgeport's apartments and stuff. Maybe I play Bridgeport too much and, like, I know every freaking- townie's house like it's the back of my hand but yeah i really i really play i play bridgeport too much like i should just do a generational bridgeport challenge and see how how far in advance the town can get i wonder whose last name would like dominate the town if i set the game so that no um extra sims can spawn and it's literally just like bridgeport people i feel like I don't- I honestly don't know whose last name would prevail, but I feel like the Stryker household has a pretty good basis in Bridgeport. I don't know why, but like Richie Stryker and that whole- that whole family lineage, um, I feel like they always persevere and like weasel their way through, even when I play like three to four generations in Bridgeport, so. Alright, this is what I've decided on. Now, does it look the best? No. Am I claiming that it looks the best? No. But is it manageable for this last episode? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. This this is what we're gonna leave I uh, not Iris, Mila's room off on. And oh, I didn't change the sheets of her bed. Oh my god, I can't believe that's like the first thing I normally do. Wow, I'm like actually losing it. I think I'm gonna make her no, I was gonna make her sheets uh, her comforter, sorry, spice brown, because that was her favorite color, but no, I've, I've decided to pass up that opportunity. Okay, I know you're trying to ask your mom for a bedtime story, um, uh, bed ownership, Mila, I know that's what you're trying to do, but I feel like when the parents, when they do this to their parents, they ask for a bedtime story. Let's see if they'll automatically go up to where Mila's bed is. If that bed ownership thing actually does work, I'm gonna be surprised, because normally, like, the bed ownership is, like, kind of a hit or miss, um, Let's see, where is she going to try to go? I mean, I'll let her ask her mom for a bedtime story. Oh, uh, let's see, what we sh should we read her? How about the Warlock of Pal Paladia? I think that's supposed to be, like, uh, Lord of the Rings or something. Oh, okay, they're just canceling it. 
they're just automatically canceling it so all right mila i mean i tried my best for you girl i wanted you to get that bedtime story but it, do it doesn't it doesn't look like it's gonna happen all right it doesn't look like it's gonna happen so i, m I mentioned this um how do i get off of the tangent that i was supposed to be on so I, I was i was gonna say i'm going to have world adventures enabled for the next generation so that when we move towns from from Abaluza Plains to Starlight Shores. Okay, what notification is lagging my game? Can I ask? What watch? Just what notification? Just let me know. Anytime now, game. Anytime you can have the notification pop up. Any second here. Okay, or not. Um, but I was going to say, well, there it is. Dakota Fox. Thanks for lagging the hell out of my game. I appreciate it. But I'm go okay. So with Enros Traveler. I don't have it currently installed because it requires World Adventures to work. With Enros Traveler, you can have your notifications or your, not, wow, why did I say notifications? Your relationships from your old town carry over into the new town. So let's, uh, let's say that Eleanor, you know, she's living her own life. Obviously, Fiona and Rags' first child, Eleanor, she's got her own life going for her. She's got her own boyfriend. She's got her own house. Uh, she can stay here in Abaluza Plains because this is the place where she currently resides and, you know, she can chill here and uh, live her live her life, but we can still keep in contact with her via the phone option, which is a really, really cool feature. Anos makes such intricate and, like, useful mods. Useful is the most crucial word here to describe Enros mods. I felt it was our moral obligation to take and pour Bubba Bedlington rather than leave him in the hands of the social worker, commented Kip Bellmore Bell as he generously offered his house to the sim. Who the hell wh and why do they have our last name is the real question. Um, I guess that would be related to Bridget. Oh, it's her grandson, Kip and Olga. That's her granddaughter, but Kip is her grandson. That's insane that we have like so many uh, connections and that's just, it's crazy to me. It's just crazy to me that there's so much. And Pepper too, they also took in Pepper. I would have taken in some of these cats. I mean, although we're moving shortly, I still would have taken, you know, taken some in. What the hell? Although what I really, I don't know when it came down to it. I feel like I, I'm kind of like done with the with the pets, you know, even though this, this is called Pets Leprosy Challenge. <laughs> Um, this was more like Maddie plays horse leprosy challenge because we spent so much time like I feel like I know horses more than I've ever known horses in my whole entire Sims career. Like, Casanova was absolutely aghast to hear that Eleanor Bell had been accosted by Lacey Shepard recently. Oh my god. Drama. Oh and I guess uh, I guess Jack was in a mood swing or something. That's interesting. All right. Well, they have school tomorrow, which is not the worst thing in the world. Um, I think Iris, yeah, Iris will be aging up in this episode. I remember from the last episode, yeah. So she'll be aging up today in game. So we are going to throw her a big birthday bash. This will double as our kind of like go away party. I always throw a kind of going away um, we're moving out of town sort of party in my last episode because I like to get everyone that we've hung out with in this lab to see together. And I like to see the faces for the final time. Although now that I have the Enros Traveler mod, because I will be having World Adventures put back into my game, I guess it's not really like the last, last time. But for most of our families, like last generation, that was going to be the last time we would actually see them because I did not have Traveler uh, put in my game. So that's just something to know. I think Traveler also will let us travel between towns. So if we ever do want to take like a weekend trip to Eleanor, um, I don't know if we can do that. I don't. I think it'll be a different Abaluza Plains, not to like break anyone's immersion, but I think it'll be a separate Abaluza Plains. I don't think it'll be this specific instance Abaluza Plains. I think it'll just keep our relationships that we have from this town. But I don't think we can actually go back and like ever view this specific town again. Although I could be completely like talking out of my ass right now. I'm not, I'm not too sure how that works. Although I don't, I feel like that's not how it works because if it worked like that, then I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know what I'm just like rambling on. I have no idea how Traveler works, um, and Ross Traveler that is. But I guess in the next uh, in the next uh, generation we will we will explore that. So that's what I want to talk about next is the next generation. So guys, of course, as I mentioned a thousand times before, I've been mentioning it for like the past twenty episodes. But Showtime, don't wake up Jack. Don't you dare! Don't you dare wake up Jack. Why is her? Iris made a loaf of bread and I'm honestly really proud of her because I feel like she's gonna be a really good person to have uh, work in their bakery which is going to be Rags's next adventure. He's going to take the leap. He's going to quit the job and the culinary career which he has been working towards literally his whole entire life. He has been in the culinary career from the time he was a young adult from his first day as a young adult to now to this very moment look at the sun rising can i can we just get one last shot of just the beautiful like imagine okay i get it. it's iris's birthday please iris i know it's your birthday girl please let me just have my peace of mind this would be like so peaceful like living in the countryside is boring but very peaceful and you get some like j jackass people living in the countryside who are like rednecks and like don't know their head from their ass but the views you get like the the, the kind of experience and, and like peaceful and soulless you get I can imagine would be very nice I mean I grew up kind of on the countryside I have um my mom's boyfriend's family is all you know they, they've they grew up on farms and stuff why are you letting traveler out this is so weird that they are like gravitate they gravitate towards letting the horses out but the horses can the horses can like take care of themselves and she has school in 15 minutes she has to go like okay you know what now that she knows how to drive actually this is really useful okay i'm gonna have jack and her so jack is gonna run over here for some reason the bus didn't trigger i don't know why i didn't get the notification of the, of the bus coming in an hour um but we're gonna go we're gonna hit visit community lot and we're gonna visit with jack because now that she knows how to drive she can actually drive her brother and her to, to school from now on this truck always reminds me of um, Bella's pickup truck from Twilight. <laughs> I've been on a tr I've been on a Twilight kick le recently. I follow like a lot of. Uh, oh, the 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 bus did trigger. Okay, um, I guess he's not gonna take the pickup truck with his sister. Then he's just gonna go take the straight up bus. That's really weird that we didn't get the. Oh, we did get it, but I just didn't cancel the notifications fast enough. Okay. Oh, I forgot that she's a child now. Oh my god, I forgot that Mila is old enough to take the bus now and she's like so hungry. She's to pee. I mean, at least she'll eat at school, but I can't believe I forgot to Oh man. Okay, stop. Just go go into school, please. I'm just I'm ashamed of myself that I forgot Mila existed. All right, she's just like taking her sweet ass time. Like, why are you walking, girl? goodbye just go 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 wheel your pedal yourself to school like okay she's just gonna okay she's trying to take the bus she's just like why is she walking so slow mila your brother's waiting for you okay there we go now she runs now her ass runs and of course oh my god i i i i'm excited to move let me just say it put it that way because i hate how they fucking run over this way like why all right all right cool all right, you know what? I I can't I can't do this right now. I just I okay. This is app. Let this is last episode. I don't give no fucks. I don't give no fucks. Go teleport. I'm literally just like teleporting everything and everyone, everywhere from now on. Go and meet some friends, even though you're not gonna know them for too much longer. But I guess you could just chill. Oh my god, what is she wearing? Leanne, Leanne. She's wearing the shorts with the with the high heels she must be pregnant <laughs> i think she's pregnant because this is a maternity shirt oh she's having like a stomach a stomach cramp you wouldn't want to oh you should, oh that's so cute you wouldn't want to talk to fiona um that's actually really wholesome maybe you wouldn't got like wind that uh they're they're leaving they're skipping town they're leaving town um pretty shortly that's actually really cute that he called her all right so we need to have her throw the birthday party for iris so i'm gonna have her go to her phone 
she's gonna hit throw party and this is mostly gonna be a family party but i guess i can invite chad too because chad is one of iris's friends he's currently in a relationship with maggie and i don't know if she has any other friends but i guess you know what just chad <laughs> just so friends with the hot heartbreak hot rod but uh that will be sitting our, in our driveway so i guess it's kind of attending the party i suppose <laughs> um does she go to school no she went to school in her everyday clothes i wasn't sure if she went in her sleepwear or if she went in her fucking everyday clothes but i guess she did go in her in her everyday clothes i was gonna be like oh my god girl you need to get yourself together how is he doing he is in like an awful mood right now he needs his hooves clean so i'm gonna have fiona after she throws that party i'm gonna have her run out here and try and get traveler in a little bit of a better mood i think we're definitely even though they're they're our focus in the next generation will shift from pets um to more of like a self-owning self-ran kind of business thing i definitely would like to keep the horses around so we're, we're gonna need a pretty big lot although we might i don't know funeral i knew you could throw funerals but i don't why why can i throw a funeral i think i tried to th throw a funeral in the last generation and like the option wasn't popping up on the phone that's so weird though okay sorry i got really distracted so birthday party we're gonna set it for 4 p.m i know that's like will she be out of school at 4 p.m i think she will because i know even if she has after school activity stuff to do i think we'll still be fine oh my god yuan's an elder whoa yuan's an elder that's insane uh we'll invite declan we'll invite little baby george of course <laughs> um it still shocks me that like george is fiona's younger brother because i think he was an accident baby much like mila is an accident baby uh connor hesper oh hesper fiona's old friend that's so cute um deshaun oh deshaun is really cute actually i'm gonna i'm gonna need to keep deshaun around because he ended up looking pretty damn good and last but not least we will invite chad because chad is iris's is I Iris's friend i don't know why i said an extra is but okay i'll roll with it all right so this is the guest list casual tire 4 p.m birthday party yes we are ready to invite miss invite uh, uh age up <laughs> that's what i wanted to say age up miss iris to a young adult so i'm excited um and then i guess in starlight shores she'll be uh she'll be she'll be helping her parents run the run the i almost said funeral home oh my god no run the cell phone business the uh the bakery i think i think they're gonna run a bakery I, i'm pretty sure that that's what i've what i've settled on i've never used that specific item from the sims 3 store and much like i did this generation where we use the tractor i really do want to start to use more store items and like kind of figure out how they work because i think that they're really useful and when i think about it a lot of people praise sims 2 open for business because it's kind of like a centralized place where you can open up your own nightclub your own dance club your own uh, restaurant your own bakery etc etc whereas i think they kind of did the sims the same thing in sims 3 but they split it up into multiple store items like for example they have um the cinema which which has that really nice thing where every time a sim walks through it it charges them a fee which you can make like nightclubs and stuff by by doing that um and in a different store set they have the bakery which allows you to set like make your own restaurant essentially so they they have all the features from sims 2 i think that they kind of just like stagnated it between different why is this back here i've never noticed how this trash can is back here this has been here the entire lepacy and i just never paid it any attention that it was just chilling in the backyard okay so i'm gonna have uh, leo come over here because rags wants to go and give him a little brushy brushy so i'll let that happen um care brush and i guess she can go entertain the sick kids she she doesn't have the car so let me take it out of iris's inventory now i hope this doesn't take more than four hours because if this takes more than four hours then we're gonna miss part of the party as long as rags is here though i think we'll be fine to um have her go and do that i'm just getting a little bit nervous because the timing might be a little bit weird brayden riffin marcus tanner and iris learned that marcus is unemployed why is why is she asking him about his career <laughs> how did that come up and are they just like sitting around the cafeteria table 
Iris is like, hey, what's your job? I'm aging up to a young adult tonight, and that's totally not on my mind that it's my birthday, but what's your job? And he's like, oh, I'm unemployed. And then does the conversation just end there? Is it like that? Is it that awkward and like robotic of a, of a conversation? Or am I just imagining it being robotic because they're Sims? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm suspicious. Okay, I'm suspicious. Um, she's like halfway done with her entertaining the sick kids. So I think she'll be home in time. Although she might not be home when the kids get home. Like all the teenagers in the... Uh, her actually she needs to go drop off those permission slips so I mean she should be home before her sister ages up even though if she even if she has to stop all the teenagers will be taking okay yeah that's fine I mean all the teenagers it's literally just gonna be Jack I guess he wants to do his homework so good Jack what she want to do she wants to watch a movie which is fine and Fiona's like almost done entertaining the sick kids so her party is gonna start very shortly so we probably should get that underway oh also before the party starts I want to get all these clothes cleaned up out of these rooms yeah he wants to do laundry and I think that's a good idea Rags is like kind of a neat guy isn't he I guess it's family oriented that's so weird that doing the laundry corresponds to sims that are family oriented that's kind of strange I would think I mean it probably does correlate to also correlate to uh, neat sims and probably perfectionist sims as well because those two usually go pretty hand in hand but family oriented is kind of a stretch i feel like oh, okay so he's taking everything he's like going to each room with all the clothes i hope he takes them from here too because they're kind of is he gonna go in there yeah he's gonna go in there rags is so good at laundry he like goes scours each room room and makes sure he's getting everything correct or getting all like the clothes and stuff and grabbing them all out Jack just throws his clothes on the floor. I love it. Just such a teenage boy, honestly. <laughs> All right. Um, party starting in an hour. Are you coming home? Yeah, she's coming home right now. So, yeah, everyone is on their way home. Uh, she just got out of school, so I'm going to have her drop off those permission slips here really quickly, and she can head on home. Jack is already home, which is a really good sign. I'm going to have him quickly do his homework because he does want to do that currently. And Iris is home, so she's stinking up the joint. So I'm gonna have her go upstairs and take a shower before we have her birthday. I'm sure the guests are probably gonna start arriving. Are they? Wait, I'm not getting any notifications about guests arriving, so I'm wondering if my party got glitched. Did my party get glitched? I guess we're about to find out, right? We're about to find out. I swear to God, if these party guests try and use this tractor, you know what? Why am I saying they if they try to i know they will i know they're gonna try and use this tractor and i can already feel it in my bones that they're gonna do it but i'm just letting them have their have their fun i guess let me let me get far out here really quickly and then we're gonna have fiona oh oh sims are showing up <gasps> sims are showing up okay i was really scared because i thought my party was glitching up because i didn't get any notifications about the party starting or maybe i did and i just like canceled them out i don't know i guess we'll have to see here um but she wants to what is so okay what why is he stuck he's literally not in like legit in the pen he's like glitched inside of the pen all right well she wants to brush him so i'll, I'll have her give him a quick little brush over here oh hey eleanor she's like hi mom <laughs> how you doing out here <laughs> all right give her a quick brush him sorry and um let me have rags serve up some food for everyone we'll have him come over here and serve up uh, a cinnamon roll that sounds oh maybe cupcakes no let's do wait let me see what else we can do sugar oh my god these i love this item i really do i'm so excited for their bakery because we're gonna be able to make all this stuff let's have them um do let's have them do cinnamon rolls i don't know if i've done the cinnamon rolls before but a cinnamon roll right now sounds really good oh does sean brought some food as well wait maybe we don't need to what is this what is this oh he brought deep wait what is this deep fried ice cream fritter yes yes to that in every freaking way please yes he wants to talk to leo okay so he's heading on home here or she is sorry oh she wants to get attention from her mom that's so sad <laughs> um rex is the only hungry one honestly so he can go over there and eat that. Where is everyone at? Why are they all... Oh, are they going to try and use this tractor? I swear to God. Please, guys, don't. Just, I know you're, like, magnetized towards the tractor, but please. Can I, like, take it off the lot? You know what? 
I'm gonna pop this in their household inventory so that they don't try and use it because it's gonna drive me up the wall if these sims keep trying keep trying to give like hay rides and stuff because I think they can just do it autonomously. I feel like it should be turned off for autonomous, like 100% should be turned off for autonomous, but okay. Um, should I have him? No, you know what? I'm sick of like the birthday cake from here. I'm gonna have her buy just iris like a birthday cake from the from the from the buy mode because as much as i think that the chocolate cake is cute i like want to i want to switch it up and give and give iris the traditional sort of birthday cake so here we go uh iris you want to come down here i guess she's doing her homework right now she's like want to make wants to make sure she gets good grades before she ages up too young at all i guess um is anyone where's like all of the guests like there's no guests here right now where i guess they're all outside and stuff which is fine but all right deshaun's over here why don't you um go give him apparently the game thinks that she doesn't know deshaun but it like literally said that deshaun was her fiona's acquaintance which is weird i i guess all right go and uh, give him like a little handshake um make a silly face tell a funny story I ask him if he's single that seems like kind of a weird thing to do why don't you introduce yourself to connor he definitely doesn't know Connor, so... Okay, wait. Oh, great celebrity. Um, is he... Eh, yeah, he should be able to talk to Connor. Because he's level 3 and Connor's level 2, so that should be fine. Alright, um... I think it's about time Iris ages up, no? Is she done with her homework? Yeah, she's done with her homework. Her uncle's up here trying to talk to her. Or somewhere. He's somewhere. He's not up there, but he's somewhere in this house. Okay, well, I'm gonna send everyone in the kitchen to come over do i have my music on i think i do right I, I do i just heard my music when i went into buy mode what am i saying okay um you can stop talking to him now because i'm just gonna age age up iris and uh, mila come on in the kitchen please so blow out candles iris bell she's aging up to a yoga doll i'm so excited she's covering her ears because of the dishwasher the dishwasher yeah wait what are you doing Oh my god, I thought Rags was trying to age himself up. I was gonna, like, freak out. Okay, everyone, I know the dishwasher is loud. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Come on, stop booing. Stop booing your older brother. Why does he... Why is his... Okay, he just is wearing a weird outfit. It's whatever. It's from the introduction. That's your brother. What? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting, like, hella distracted. All right, so here we go. Um, Miss Iris is gonna age up. Congrats, Iris. Yay! look how pretty she is oh my god her nose mask is like not the color of her skin please ignore that please ignore that <laughs> she should have a good age up though because she had really good grades like the entire her entire life so yay happy birthday she's like making a wish i wish that i had a million dollars <laughs> all right iris any moment now look at her side profile oh my god so pretty she is so pretty like one of the prettiest sims we've had right I should make like a tier like ranking of our prettiest sims i don't know okay sorry i'm getting distracted but uh any moment here iris i mean girl you can age up any second there we go there we go yeah so she got oh because of her success you may choose a trait for her she's going to be friendly that's a good last trait to have and i'm going to sell this cake as soon as i can because i want to make at least a little bit of my money back and this stuff that's sitting out on the table is going to rot anyway quickly so oh deep fried fish okay let's put away all this and we'll leave the deep fried fish out <gasps> see iris get married that's such a cute little interaction oh i love it and she wants to um eat at the bistro oh is she trying to like test out the competition she's like trying to see who her competition would be like you know at the at the bistro seeing if they have a if she has a chance to like compete against them i guess <laughs> for her for her own bakery all right uh, should we bring Iris and Cass here really quickly? I mean, I think I am, we have like 20 more minutes left in this uh, this episode, so I don't want to sit here looking at Iris looking like a total mess. Also, I need to talk about um, my new, okay, so my new obsession with, with Cass. So, I figured out, oh, Deshaun's leaving, Connor's leaving, Chad, is that Chad? Chad is leaving. Everyone had a really good time though, it appears. Iris just became a young adult. She got a nice little 
memory for that but here she is the beauty she is really beautiful i know her, her eyebrows are like a freaking mess but seriously she we got a really nice body and her face is so pretty like her facial proportions are very gorgeous okay so i'm gonna change her eyebrows i know they do not fit her face at all you don't have to tell me okay i'm aware um they are they would look good on other sims i'm sure but they kind of have to i mean i feel like i guess would have really thick eyebrows I feel like she's like her mom. Oh, those are really nice. I like those a lot. I don't like when the eyebrows like really close to the hairline, but I feel like that's a really good distance right there for the eyebrows to be. So, okay. I'm going to give her the same hair that she had when she was a teenager. She was pretty chic to begin with. So, oh, I'm going to talk about my new addiction in Cass. So, I found out how to use um, S Club eyelashes. I, for the longest time was having problems first of all they were blocks on my sims eyes like round around my sims eyes they would be like black blocks and that was because i didn't have the mesh installed so that's my fault but my second problem that i was having was that um they were not even like fitting my sims eye there was like a giant gap and i was not having it i did not like it at all so i just didn't use s club eyelashes but I figured out that there's a custom slider you're supposed to install to make the eyelashes work. Had I known this, I probably would have been using S Club eyelashes this entire time. So how embarrassing for me. Her nose mask also was not properly matched. So great job, Maddie. You fucked that up royally. So this is called the Adele nose mask. So whenever I, you know, put her new, um, not new outfit, but like new actually yes new of it when i switched to nail pen i need to remember to change her nose mask over and it should already auto match the color to be the same i'm fairly certain i'm fairly certain that the, the nose mask will just auto auto adjust okay so i'm not gonna put any eyeliner on her so i'm gonna take off these eyelashes and i'm just gonna stick on some s club eyelashes here um i really like natural the natural eyelashes and the cool thing about s club eyelashes is that you can adjust the the length custom length of these eyelashes it's so cool guys i did not know that s club eyelashes were like this in depth and amazing but seriously i'm like fairly impressed so top so we have a uh, top eyelash rotation so you can kind of like adjust if you want them to be straight which i guess in turn would would determine how um how like how much you can see them i guess so i'm gonna take off completely i'm gonna take her ea like default eyelashes so they're a little bit shorter that kind of messes that kind of fucks with her genetics though for her kids because now her kids will have zero eyelashes but assuming that i'm gonna continue to use these s club eyelashes and now that i finally know how to i will uh i'll just give her kids like the same exact eyelash type of thing so um we have eyelash bottom length we also have eyelash bottom height so this is where you kind of fine tune everything i'm probably gonna make a total separate video explaining s club eyelashes because not everyone's gonna watch this video and i'm sure there's other people that have used s club eyelashes that also had problems with them and weren't able to get them to work and once i found how to get them to work oh man like i will never go back to another pair of eyelashes minus s club eyelashes like those those will be the only ones that i ever use because oh my god they look so good and like you can they're like 3d obviously you can see them um from like the side obviously that's what 3d means but i think this hair looks so good on her but i don't like the texture all that much i think this is a sims 4 to 3 conversion it's a little bit too shiny but it's probably fine in game so i'm gonna give her this hair um i think her eye eyebrows look really good with that hair actually like i know they're thick and all but i think that's kind of the look that i'm going for i don't know why but i'm like really digging it okay so i gave her a nose mask i gave her eyelashes let me give her a, something like a little bit something on her lips maybe just darken up what she had before and so she's going to be a medical person so i know i said that she was gonna work at on at what <laughs> i know i said i was gonna i why can't i say this i know i said that she was going to work at her parents bakery and that's still the that's still a game plan so i'm gonna give her something like really i don't know like oop you just you just caught me working at the bakery and now we're falling in love whoa 
Look how small her waist is, girl. Did you have ribs? Does she have ribs in there? Are you okay? <laughs> Did someone take you to get your ribs surgically removed? Hold up. Her waist is so small. I have a custom waist slider. I'm interested to see how tiny her waist must be. Let's see if I can find the slider. I think it's in eyes. This is going to be insane how small her waist is. I can guarantee it's like abnormally small, which I'm going to be so startled if it is because she definitely took some ribs out of her body. Oh, waist height. Okay. I mean, the higher this is, the more, yeah, the more the waist is going to be like snatched in. That's insane. I think it's at the most it can go without like distorting her sim. Yeah, that's insane. Oh my god, where did she inherit that tiny waist from? Fiona has a small waist, but it's not like, like Kim Kardashian, I took out two ribs from my body snatched. Like, this is insane. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like... Just a little bit caught off guard. I was not expecting that. All right, sorry. Uh, I got distracted. But anyway, I'm going to give her um, something respectable, something modest. I feel like Iris is very modest. I mean, you guys saw what she was wearing when she was a teenager. I feel like she'd be a very modest girl. Like something like this is very wholesome and cute and like kind of playful and, and young and youthful. All the, all the young, you know, positive adjectives I can use. <laughs> That's, um, Iris in a, in a nutshell. Now, I'm gonna keep her outfit the same, so don't expect me to, like, change her outfit. Usually, the sims that I give new outfits to in the last couple episodes, like, last two or three episodes of the Lapisy, I tend to just keep their outfits, so Rags will probably have the same. Oh my gosh, she got a booty. Holy moly, Iris. What have you? She's on some Kim K stuff. Oh my god. I'm actually shook. I'm gonna keep her shoes the same. I already took off her eyelashes. I'm like really caught off guard of, on, about Iris. Like I was not expecting this snatched body. She's also got a height slider on, which I'm a little bit indifferent to. I don't like the height slider because it messes up. Like it really, really does mess up the animations because say like iris goes to hug another sim that doesn't have a height slider on their head is gonna be like in her chin or her neck instead of being um where it should be normally when that animation plays out because of the because of the height slider that's something i kind of hate that they didn't include in sims 3 is like the ability to change your sims height but i guess we haven't seen that in any sims game she is so tall like this dress is getting freaking stretched out right now because of how tall she is let me see how tall it's in this here oh my god this is insane did I change her? I think I changed her height back. Okay, so update. She doesn't have a height slider on. I just, I'm just like paranoid that all my sims have freaking height sliders on. And um, why I have a height slider and I don't use it, I don't know. You know what? I like the height slider for my male sims, but for my female sims, you know, there's, there's tall girls and there's short girls, but in Sims 3, literally all the girls are tall girls. There's no like short girls in Sims 3. So, I like it to make my females shorter and I like it for my males to be taller. Although I feel like the males, I feel like I don't need it for guys. I more so need it for the girls for sure. The girls definitely require like some finessing with their, oh god, with their height. Um, so I mostly have it for them, but I feel like all the girls already in Sims 3 are really tall because there's no, like, they're almost the same height as, as men. So, that's, you're, like, men are normally, like, what, like, 6'2 average, I think, in the US? Okay, why are we stuck on her dress? Like, come on, let me load, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna do a lock here, which means it's gonna try and give her this for her, um, sleepwear, but... I'm gonna just take the lock off once it carries over to all her other outfits because I don't feel like trying to match her nose mask again. So pro tip, if you guys put a nose mask on your sim and then it doesn't carry over into the rest of their outfits, do the lock and it will carry over. Pro tip. Okay, I'm gonna go in her uh, accessories because I think it's gonna try and give her those eyelashes, those, those accessory eyelashes instead of the S Club eyelashes. But all right, does she have... What? Yeah, she definitely has those accessory eyelashes on. I can already tell. I can already tell. Let's take them off here. 
and she should have yeah those are s club okay cool s club eyelashes so she's all done for her formal attire now from here on out it'll be pretty simple um because she's living with her parents i'm gonna give her not a bra and underwear <laughs> because that's really awkward that she'd be wearing a bra and underwear when she lives with her mom and dad because i i just that doesn't know i'm gonna give her the kitty slippers those are really cute and uh let's take off the lipstick i will keep everything else but i will take off the lipstick for her sleepwear um because the eyelashes are supposed to be like her real eyelashes and the nose mask is supposed to be like her real nose so I should also take out the because she has the accessory eyelashes on just because i have to like remove them for every outfit when i put them on for every outfit which is why i despise using accessory eyelashes but these ones were like the only ones that would actually fit my sims eyes before i figured out like the whole s club eyelash debacle so good job maddie you, you finally figured it out in the end girl um but now she has no makeup on for her athletic which i don't mind but once again, the fucking nose mask and the eyelashes are supposed to be like her real eyelashes. So let me apply those. I don't even remember which one she had. I don't think it matters though. It probably like really doesn't even matter. Just give her something natural. Um, give her the natural lip back. And then she had the Adele nose mask, which I need to remember. Um, okay. She, oh, she's like going to the freaking gym in like a full face of makeup i guess because that's what she was just wearing <laughs> oh my gosh she has like a full face and like she has like perfect curled eyelashes a beautiful like little button little button nose here or oh, little button nose let's get rid of the eyelashes here and i need to take these out of my game too so i need to remember to do that all right last but not least let's give her some swimwear and then let's get the heck out of Cass, I am done with Cass. This is supposed to be a bra and underwear set, by the way. Um, but now it's gonna be her swimwear, so oopsie. Let's also just give her these here really quickly, and then we'll give her the Adele nose mask, take off the eyelashes, and we are done with Cass for the rest of the this generation. I also haven't done a cast video in like a really long time. And I personally like watching makeovers when I watch Lepicies, so that's why I keep the cast in. And, like, I don't just cut it out. But there we go. Okay. Well, sometimes I cut it out. But that's, like, if I... Like, it's one of these makeovers where it's, like, a adult to young adult because it literally takes me ages to do young adults because then this carries over into, like, the rest of their life. All right. We are backing... Look at her butt. Girl. What are you on? And look at look at this gap in her shirt and the pants. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend like that doesn't exist. I'm gonna over overlook that because I really I really like those pants. I don't like want to get rid of them. Who are you booing? Who are you booing? Who is here that you're booing? Marcus Tanner. Poor Marcus Tanner. What did he do? He's kind of cute, isn't he? He's got a cute face. All these Sims are having like a really good time, so that's a positive, right? She's eating some deep fried fish. <laughs> um, I guess that's her favorite or that's the food she wants to eat at the end of this, at the end of it all. I'm going to have everyone sit down here and eat together, even if we're not all that hungry. you got to go answer your phone. Uh, Hesper's leaving. We didn't even really get to interact with Hesper, did we? Not all that much, I don't think. So, all right, who's calling? Um, cameo and play. I think it's a little bit in too late in the in the rodeo to do that now. <laughs> but I'm gonna have her go upstairs. The queen be herself, the star of this lepasy, um, that we will be moving on from. I'm getting a little emotional right now because this has literally consumed like two months of my life. Okay, maybe not two months, maybe like a month and a half of my life. So it's a little strange, like knowing that we're gonna move on to jack but fiona definitely had an and let's take a moment to remember aster who didn't even get a proper anything oh i think that's a, that's what the funeral was for wasn't it was for aster but that seems a little weird that you can throw uh stuff for pets i guess i i didn't think that they would include that in the game but i guess you know the funeral option for for pets does make sense a lot of people value their pets just as much as they value like actual humans so it makes sense to me that you can do that let's get a nice like like sunset view of the farmhouse wow what a pretty be like this lot is so beyond beautiful and i think this fits perfectly 
it, out of every generation, I have n I could have not picked a better house for to fit like the storyline of the family. Um, it's insane to me how we went from let's look where this is from this right here. Wait till it loads. Okay, I know it's like invisible right now, but it's got to load here. Maybe the Riffins live here now. But uh, yeah, we went from this freaking tiny two bedroom house where Miss Eleanor was born to um to this beautiful farmhouse that fits what like six different sims or something six sims is it one two three well one because the account was one two three four okay four sims sorry but also like you gotta remember it holds all the horses it holds a whole slew of crops and i just i just adore it and i think it's it's really it's a really beautiful lot and um I'm happy. I'm just really, I couldn't be more pleased with our playthrough of Appaloosa Plains. Minus the clock freezing. I don't, I still, I still don't know why that was happening. I think it had something to do with someone's inventory. She's going to go and play catch. I don't know why she's wearing her career outfit. Girl, change back into your everyday. What do you think this is? She's going to go play catch with her daughter. I guess she's like celebrating her daughter's birthday or something by going to go play catch. And look at that. She wants to join the medical career. So I'm going to lock that in for her. I think that's um, a good idea. Uh, but guys, I am going to end this episode right here. Um, it will take me a little bit of time, maybe like a week, because as I'm recording this, I'm maybe not as you're watching it, but it will be Thanksgiving coming up in the US. And look at that. She had a great party. How, how nice is that? That the last party we ever throw for pets uh, was a great party. I think that's very, it means a lot. So and look at this, Rags is also coming out here to spend a little bit of time with his wife before we end it, which is really cute because these two, like, started it all. I just can't believe. I, I did not think that these two would be an item and that would actually, like, stay together. I didn't even think they'd get together in the first place. I did not like Rags. Can we talk about that for a second here? I had it out for Rags. I did not like Rags in the slightest. I think that he was not good enough for Fiona, but he has a heart of gold, and minus Fiona herself, um, I think Rags was m my favorite Sim in this leprosy. I think it's, it's safe to say that now, so, uh, I'm going to end this season, Generation 5, of Let's Play the Sims 3 Pets right here um, with the two that started it all under the stars in front of their beautiful uh, farmhouse? The farmhouse that they kind of built themselves. Um, and I will catch you all in Generation 6 of this Lepacy Challenge. So guys, see you all then and peace out.